In this video, I'm going to show you how to comp audio takes in DP8. For our example, we have a soundtrack that was used for a television commercial, and you can see that there's a guitar track here, and there's that guitar waveform, and let's just give that a little bit of a listen. Not much going on in that guitar track, and if we look in the take column, we'll see that the composer and the musicians tried a couple of different takes of that guitar part there. So our job is to find the best pieces of each of those separate takes and create a composite or comp track. There's a number of ways we can go about doing this. For example, I can click in the take column and I can turn those takes into tracks. And that's exactly what happens. Those takes are now separate tracks and they can be edited and worked with the way you can work with any other audio tracks. Something else that we can do, let's reverse that operation. I'll select the uh, four guitar tracks there, go to the take column and absorb the selected tracks. So now I've taken the audio from multiple tracks and put them into a single track as multiple takes. And now we'll switch over to the sequence editor window. And in the sequence editor window I have a take pop-up menu and I have a new command there that is called show takes. When I choose show takes you can see that the four takes have been displayed. Let's take a close look at them. One, two, three, four, but there's a fifth take that was automatically created when I use that command to show takes. And uh, this new take is the comp take. The take that was currently visible in the track has been duplicated into the new comp take, and we can start to build our composite track there. One thing that we can do is we can make a selection and just audition. I'm using a key com command to play selection. Once we've decided which pieces of audio we want to work with, we can go and get the comp tool. And you see that I've gotten that from my tool palette, which is currently up in the control panel window. And if I make a selection, you can see that that selection is now placed up into the comp track. And if I click on a different take, whatever I click on is placed up into that comp track. So I'll make another selection here and move that up. Here in this take we have a couple of edits and those edits are kept up intact and again we can click on any of these sections and it'll move that piece of audio up into the comp track. Let's give that a listen. Now if I want to edit I can certainly do that because these are sound bites so I'll just move those sound bites around. As a matter of fact if I would like to uh, do some crossfades or edge editing. That can be done as a single batch operation. Very easy to do. Now we're only listening to the comp take right now, but the other takes can be play enabled if we want. Perhaps we'd like to double parts, maybe we want, want to put effects or automation on these takes. The takes can work just like tracks if we like. If we go over to the tracks window, you can see that there's our four original takes and there's the comp take that was created. Back to the sequence editor, there's our comp take and if we'd like to hide the original takes, we can do that. And now we have created a new composite take. This is how easy it is to composite audio takes in DP8.